Hey guys and welcome to another free plugin Friday. Today we are looking at stuff from Analog Obsession. We've got the Pig Pie, we've got the Dod Dod, and we've got the Gunner. So as you can see, these are quite simple plugins. They are just stomp boxes. You've got uh, three band EQ on the Gunner with gain and level. You've just got gain and level on the Dod Dod and volume, tone and sustain. So if you're not aware of the original uh, stomp boxes these are based on, they were quite simple with the Gunner having the most control. So what we're gonna do is start with the Gunner. We're gonna use my telly. But we will switch to my LP type with humbuckers because I know a lot of you don't like tellies for some reason. Uh, so that's cool, we'll do that later. But first off we're doing that, we're running through THU Slate and I've got some of the rig libraries open. Go check my videos on rig libraries, uh, they're pretty, pretty kind of in-depth about the rig libraries I generally use. But we're going to go through each one of these and we'll also look with a free plugin and a free IR later on for those that want a completely free solution. So let's start with the gunner. Uh, the thing I found out first about this plugin is the level is ridiculously high. So I'm going to do basically um, my clean tone and then we'll turn the gunner on. I'm going to go 12 o'clock on everything except level and bring the level to the right amount. So this is the clean tone. And the gunner on. Bit more level. Telly, it isn't super high gain, but you kind of get this, you know, kind of crunchy martial -y thing. So let's turn the gain up a bit. We're going to have to drop the level, and you kind of see where it goes. Yes, you've got a three band EQ, so you can really kind of dial it in a bit. So if you want to go a bit more scooped, of course, we can go something like this. And take away some of that harshness. plug-in it's a little bit harsh on the top end there's a little bit of kind of muddiness in now that could just be accurate of the actual pedal um, and it'll be different if you're running it into obviously a different sim so I've tried to get a sound I like with THU Slate but that might not always uh, work or you're using something else so you've got to kind of experiment being free doesn't really cost you anything to experiment but it's really cool it can kind of do low gain tones let's just try them for a bit but I think I prefer with the gain getting a bit of crunch. Let's bring the bass back. OK, 
Okay, and let's change to humbuckers because I know that's what you want. Okay, so now I've got the LP with humbuckers. It's also uh, in basically drop D but down half a step. So it sounds completely different to the telly. Uh, we're going to go through the controls with the gunner. So basically, with the gunner, we're going to keep it up here. I'm going to go a little bit scooped. Let's have a listen. So yeah, clean again. Let's go for some of the less gain tones. Let's push up the mids, go for more of a classic rock thing. Pull down the bass a bit. Uh, level. <laughs> Okay, next up is the Dodod. -dod. Now this is a Dodd 250. Um, it can be a little bit fizzy with the gain down low, which I haven't actually found to happen with a real Dodd 250. Maybe it's the way the game works on this, but it's kind of cool. So that was what the opening sound was, was that one. Um, cool for boosting. What we're going to do is later on, we're going to add some kind of gainy amp as well and use it as an overdrive because people might be wondering how it goes as a booster. But to begin with, we'll keep the same clean sound and go through it all. Uh, so this is kind of it on, basically. Now this you have to kind of get the level set a bit differently. The gain really affects the level, so we'll go 12 o'clock. that kind of slightly fatter, fuzzy kind of tone. As you turn the gain up, it gets more like a fuzz almost. Really, really cool. Fattens out.
So it is a kind of very specific tone. People might not like it, you might like it. It is really up to taste, but it can do really cool. So if we go back to gain really low, you'll hear this fizziness I'm talking about. You can kind of hear this kind of fizz underneath. But if you've got that into a kind of distorted amp, you probably mask that a little bit, which we will try later, but it can make a kind of cleanish boost, so. Adds a little bit of fatness to it, maybe a little bit game. Like we did, we will switch to humbuckers because you really want to know what it sounds like with humbuckers. So now with the LP, we are going with the Dodd. Humbuckers, clean again, just to give you a refresher. That's the neck, this is the bridge. Um, but that also depends on what your amp settings are. You can use your, change your amp settings to compensate. I'm not going to mess around too much with the amp settings because I really want to show the pedals. But yeah, basically, of course, when you're recording, you can change settings all you want. <laughs> reverb like we had much it with humbuckers like I said we're gonna go do high gain in a minute um, by boosting a gained up amp and the last is the pig pie which is quite obviously a um, distortion sustainer a soft tech big muff pie so let's uh won't 12 o'clock I'll double click to set it to its default um, let's do a bit of a volume check straight up a fuzz.
get that really long kind of sustain. But you do get a little bit of crumbling going on when the sustain's up that high. Switch to kind of a neck pickup thing up high. <laughs> That kind of Gilmore sounds great with a little bit of delay and reverb. kind of try it, um, but it's a big muff. Oh, man. Oh, let's turn this off. Just gets a little bit kind of muddy. So that is basically the pig pie with single coils. I prefer um, big muffs with single coils because they get a bit too muddy with humbuckers, but we will try it with the LP. So let's do that now. Now the pig pie with a LP. So we'll do it clean again as a refresher. Um, basically this is the clean in a drop D, but down half a step. Let's do something a bit more fun, but a bit more sludgy. though or if we bring back the sustain bring the tone up muff tones with humbuckers like I prefer them with single coils but you can get that heavy thing with humbuckers pretty good you just have to dial it in right but it can get muddy in a mix especially if you're double tracking um, so yeah you really have to dial it in okay so up to now we have been using the THU slate now for you guys out there that don't have an amp sim already that you paid for something you want to do something free um, we're going to do stuff with the free amp sim now so what I'm going to do is load up emissary which is free from SDL Tones. So you can go grab it. And I've got NAND IR and I've loaded it with uh, a Zilla Cab from C Cow Cabs. I'll put the links in the description for both of these, um, but it sounds great. So this is with everything off. So let's just turn this off and on. <laughs> Uh, 
I've switched back to the tally, obviously. Um, and we're just going to run through with the settings kind of like uh, this. We'll just run through each one. So the gunner first. I'll bring that level down a little bit. completely different with a different sim. Uh, now let's put uh, overdrive preamp. This is more of a kind of in the boost setting, so with it off. If we want to go with a bit more of that gain thing we had before. And the pig pie is the last one. Let's go full on sustain. Well, not full on, mostly full on tone about here. with a bit of a booster. So what I'm going to do is pull up uh, Emissary with NAD IR, um, which is free, like I said, and we're going to go to the game channel, get ourselves a little bit of a game sound. So that's the plane, that's the game sound. And use this as a booster, so this is, this is without it as a booster. Level, uh, turn the gain down a little bit. Here we go. Okay. So basically, um, it really kind of thickens it up a little bit. It is quite subtle, pushes it a little bit more, but yeah, it gives a little bit more edge, a little bit more thickness. So if you're running, I mean, I just chose this amp because it was free and I was already using it to show what a free amp could do, but you could use this with any kind of high gain amp and you're gonna get a different kind of thing. Now, famously, the Dodd 250 has been used with Marshalls, um, and a few other amps back in the 70s and 80s along with other staples like the DS1, the SD1, the Tube Scream and the Rat. Um, this kind of comes from that op amp era which is like the Rat and stuff so it, it basically 
is really good at that boosting, you know, medium gain amps. So that was the analog obsession pedals. That's just three of them. I'm also going to do a review of the Zupa, which is a fuzz, but I thought I'd keep that in a separate review. Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for Free Plugin Friday every single Friday. And I'll catch you next time. Mm.